I am Dr. Chitra Ganesh, Head of the Department of Perinatology of Kaveri Hospitals, Electronic City, Bangalore. Today we will be talking about the do's and don'ts in pregnancy, especially for the patients who have become first time pregnant. Pregnancy, as you all know, is a very important phase in the life of a woman where she embarks into the journey of motherhood. A carefree young girl now takes the responsibility of a mother. So the moment she skips her cycle, does her urine pregnancy test either by herself or gets it done in a lab or with a private doctor, then she comes to know that she is pregnant. So what do you do in the first trimester? or what you are expected to take care of in the first trimester. The most important thing is, after registering yourself with the doctor, start on folic acid. Folic acid is one of the vitamin B complex, which is helpful for the neurological development of the baby. So your doctor will already start you on folic acid and you continue taking it without skipping your dose. As far as food is concerned, Anything which you can retain or which is appetizing to you during the early pregnancy, continue taking it in small quantity at frequent intervals. Because everybody knows that during the early pregnancy, many of the young women face what is called as morning sickness or hyperemesis gravidarium. This is because of the increased progesterone which is helpful for the pregnancy to develop and this causes little bit of nausea in the woman and the woman starts hating the food which was initially or before pregnancy she used to adore. So do not worry about this because this is a transient phase which will pass on once you enter into the second trimester. With regards to food, whatever you can retain eat during your first trimester because most of the pregnant women face a condition called as hyperemesis gravidarium or morning sickness. So you concentrate on eating small amounts of food at frequent intervals. Do not worry about nutrition at this point because this is only a transient phase which passes off once you enter your second trimester. With regards to fluid or the water content, this is very important that in the early pregnancy, you take at least one and a half to two liters of fluid. Fluid can be anything. It can be either water, buttermilk, milk or any fruit juices without sugar as, as per your liking. This is important because in early pregnancy, urinary tract infection is very common and it is important that you keep yourself well hydrated. With regards to activity, Whatever activity you are used to, continue doing it unless your obstetrician feels that you are in a high risk category and you need to take rest. But ensure that you do not overstrain yourself, avoid lifting heavy weights, avoid travel in two wheeler or autos in bumpy roads because this may be harmful to the baby which is growing inside. Minor spotting or minor pain in the lower abdomen is not of much concern but if it comes always go to your obstetrician get it checked either by ultrasound or by physical examination and then be confirmed that things are fine inside now we enter into the second trimester and it is also important one more thing in the first trimester is not to take unnecessary medications medications which are not prescribed by your doctors because you would have been used to popping up pills because you may get migraine or you are an asthmatic taking steroids as inhalation or as oral medications but these medications are harmful for the growing embryo because during the first 12 weeks of gestation the fetal growth is so rapid and most of the organ systems get developed at this period and it is important that we do not interfere with the normal growth of the embryo. Other than this, there is no major restriction in your first trimester. Now you complete your 12 weeks and you enter into your second trimester. This is the most important and the very happy phase in the mother because most of the symptoms which was troubling you in the first trimester is cleared by this period. You are happy because you feel free, you are 
you do not have that bloating feeling you are do not have the gastritis or the nausea which you have been having earlier and you also start feeling the fetal movement inside by about 20 to 22 weeks for the first time mother the movements come a little later the appreciation of the movement by the mother comes after 22 to 24 weeks once she starts feeling the movement then the joy becomes double so the second phase or the second trimester of pregnancy is an ideal period for you to take a break have a small holiday travel within the city or travel either by four wheeler or by flight or by train so traveling is allowed during this period unless you have specific problems like a low lying placenta or your cervix is short and they have already put a stitch to hold on the pregnancy otherwise second trimester same thing what you have been doing in your first trimester with regards to your food with regards to your uh, liquids and with regards to medication this is the time when your doctor will give you vaccinations tetanus one or two doses depending upon the requirement she also will start you on iron calcium which are the supplements which are normally given during pregnancies for all pregnant women now you move on to the third trimester this is a period when you start feeling heavy because the baby is growing very well you also have start feeling the anxiety of whether you will be able to deliver properly whether you will be able to tolerate the labor pain and what to anticipate with respect to delivery you don't have to panic because most of the obstetricians and the obstetric units in the hospitals have birthing classes both for the husband as well as the mother so that they can undertake or they can understand how the process of labor goes through and what they can do to make it smooth and safe with regards to exercise since you are heavier now you may not be able to do lots of exercises but the best form of exercise is walking walking for about 20 to 30 minutes after each meal is one of the most important thing and the easiest thing which every pregnant woman can follow you can also do a little bit of yoga exercises meditation lamas and also some pelvic floor exercises which have been taught by your obstetricians and by the hospital this will enable you to go through the labor process smoothly without much of problems with regards to travel during pregnancy long distance travel is preferably to be avoided long distance means at least for more than 2 hours sitting in any of the mode of travel whether you sit in a car or whether you sit in a flight or in a bus or train more than 2 to 3 hours continuously can have problems during your third trimester because the blood flow is very low in the um, lower limbs so you may start having leg pains you may start feeling heavy back pain etc so avoid long distance travel during your third trimester as far as the don'ts in pregnancy the most important thing that every pregnant woman should follow is no smoking whether it is a, even the passive smoking by the husband should be avoided when there is a pregnant mother at home no drinking alcohol no taking any drugs which are not prescribed by the doctors with respect to caffeine lower the amounts of coffee you take because these are the things which can harm the developing baby inside especially alcohol which can cause embryo embryological developmental problems in the growing babies one or two cups of coffees which are used to may be continued with regards to sexual contact it has to be avoided during the later third trimester as it can trigger or give rise to preterm delivery in pregnancy you are more fro- prone for dental problems and it is important that you keep your oral hygiene well visit a dentist if you have any issue with your gums or teeth it is also important to know that if you have cats at home do not clean the litter box when you are pregnant because the infection which arises from the excreta of the cat can cause problems to your developing babies with respect to the structural malformations so it is important that you avoid cleaning the litter box of cat another thing you can you need to avoid during pregnancy is eating of raw papaya and raw pineapple 
because these things contain an enzyme the pain which can cause problems especially in early pregnancy can cause abortions avoid junk foods which can put in put on more weight during pregnancy because pregnancy induced hypertension and diabetes are very common nowadays young ladies who are going to be mother it is very important that you enjoy the phase of pregnancy understand that your baby starts listening to everything from 17 weeks onwards and can react to the external situations so it is important that you keep yourself calm happy quiet listen to some soothing music every day talk to the baby which is inside because you need to believe that what is growing inside comes out as a good human being and you are the only person who is with it all the time and it is important that you understand this and give the best to your baby even before it is born